Good evening, Dr. Morton, Dr. Malosh, the Board of Education, the Superintendency, West Administration, teachers, parents, friends, and the great class of 2023. We have come together to celebrate one of our biggest achievements so far. We finally made it out, guys. Even if we're a bit sleep deprived. Okay, that's a lie. I'm completely exhausted. In all seriousness, it's important to reflect on the tremendous amount of effort, dedication, and mutual support that has brought us to this very moment. Whether it's the late night study sessions, the group projects, and the moments of growth. Throughout our time together, we have faced endless challenges, both academic and personal. To our parents, guardians, and families, thank you for the sacrifices that you've made to provide us with opportunities and encouragement. Your love, guidance, and support have been the cornerstone of our success. We owe a debt of gratitude for our loved ones for their unwavering support. Equally deserving of our appreciation are our dedicated teachers, mentors, and faculty members for shaping us into who we are today. Their passion, expertise, and commitment to our growth have left an indelible mark on our lives. The definition of commencement is the beginning or the start of something new. Now, we're not only here to celebrate getting our high school diploma, although it seems like we are. Rather, we're celebrating the start of something new. Sure, we graduated high school. Although that in of itself is a momentous accomplishment, what matters more is what we're doing next. Today marks the start of our individual journeys. Whether you're going into the military, starting a new business, going to college, or learning a trade, remember your goals. Always think to yourself, what's next and how do I get there? Now, armed with knowledge and experience, we're ready to make a difference. We're ready to open a chapter, take on new challenges, and embark on new adventures. Each of us possess unique talents and dreams and aspirations that when combined have the potential to create a positive ripple effect in our communities and beyond. As we move forward, let us embrace the unknown with open hearts and open minds. Let us continue to support and uplift one another, knowing that the bonds that we forge during our time together are strong and enduring. Let us remember the lessons we've learned, the memories we've created, and the friendships we've cultivated. In the words of Albert Einstein, your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions. Let our imagination soar as we envision the incredible possibilities that lie ahead. Let us harness our passions, unleash our creativity, and shape our own destinies. Congratulations, my dear classmates, for the hard work, perseverance, and resilience that have brought us to this very milestone. Together, let us make our mark on the world, knowing that we're leaving behind a legacy that will inspire future generations. The future is ours, and I have no doubt that greatness awaits each and every one of us. Along with us, Dr. Malosh is also starting a new journey. Dr. Malosh, on behalf of Cherry Hill West of 23, thank you, and I have a gift for you. <laughs>
please stand for the flag salute and join our combined bands, orchestra, and choir as they perform the national anthem. After the national anthem, please remain standing until the Cherry Hill West Air Force Junior ROTC retires the colors. The flag salute will be led by Julius Rodriguez. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. graduation for the class of 2023. I am Julia Green and I am mistress of ceremonies today. We are here to honor this class and to acknowledge four years of diligence, excellence, and success. Before we proceed with the ceremonies, I want to thank our guests for being with us today. The class and I thank you in advance for assisting us in making this event a dignified, be beautiful graduation. I respectfully ask that you silence your cell phones and other electronic devices that may disturb and, are, and distract our participants and guests today. I would now like to introduce our guests and ask them to stand. From the Board of Education, President, Mrs. Miriam Stern, Vice President, Mr. Joel Mayer, and members, Mrs. Corinne Elmore Stratton, Mrs. Jennifer Fleischer, Mr. Adam Greenbaum, Mrs. Sally Tong, Mr. Benjamin Rood, and Mrs. Gina Winters. From the superintendency, superintendent of schools, Dr. Joseph Malash, assistant superintendent, Dr. Kwame Morton, assistant superintendent, <laughs> assistant superintendent, Dr. Farah Mayhan, assistant superintendent, 
Compliance, Equity, and Student Services, Mrs. LaCoya Weathington. Assistant Superintendent, Board, and Board Secretary, Ms. Lynn Sugars. Director of Special Education, Ms. Caitlin Mallory. Also here this afternoon with the class, Senior House Principal and Incoming Principal, Dr. John Burns. <laughs> Faculty Advisor to the class of 2023, Mrs. Jessica Seymour and Mrs. Beth Coffey. And reading names, Dr. John Burns, Mr. Jim Mark, and Mrs. Beth Coffey. And the members of this class who will participate in this afternoon's exercises, Olivia Anna Mazara, Julissa Rodriguez, Sarah Jenna Cole, Matthew James Son, Carolyn K. Kirk, Matthew Jacob Bernard, and Lisbeth M. Reyes. At this time, I would like to introduce to you Dr. Morton, acting principal at Cherry Hill High School West. All right, good afternoon, and welcome to the class of 2023's commencement ceremony. We actually have a few more people joining us for this wonderful occasion, and I'd like to introduce them as well. Uh, from our Board of Education, Mrs. Kim Gallagher. Also, former Board of Education members, Mr. Ken Tomlinson. And Ms. Kim Friedel. Thank you for joining us. So this is the moment that we all worked toward for four years. It's through the commitment of family, students, and staff members that gets us to this day. At this time, I ask that the West faculty members who are present stand and be recognized by us all. Thank you. They are the professional staff who have chosen to spend their lives in the field of education, helping young people prepare for the future. I wish to recognize their efforts and express deep gratitude for what they have done to bring our graduates to this day. I would also like to recognize Mr. Jim Mark and Ms. Kelly Altenberg who are retiring this year. Mr. Mark, who's behind me, is participating in a long tradition by, at West by reading names this afternoon. This is an honor offered to all retiring staff members. Like the graduates, he and Ms. Altenberg will also soon start a new chapter in their lives. The West community wishes them much happiness and fulfillment in this next phase of their lives. Please join me in recognizing the careers of these individuals who have committed themselves to our Cherry Hill students. I also take the opportunity to thank the underclass participants of the Cherry Hill West 781st Air Force Junior ROTC Unit, the Combined Bands and Orchestra, the Symphonic Choir, and their faculty advisors and directors for their contributions to the beauty and dignity of this evening ceremony. And I acknowledge Olivia Ann Mazara, who gave the salutation, and Julia Lynn Green, who is today's Mistress of Ceremonies. Julia. The class of 2023 address will be delivered by Sarah Jenna Cole. Good afternoon, Dr. Morton, Dr. Malosh, members of the Board of Education and the Superintendency, West administration, parents, families, friends, and the class of 2023. I'm going to ask you to think of a defining moment 
in your life? For me, when I think of that question, the first thing that comes to mind is fire, and I'm here to tell you why. When I was a kid, I witnessed my apartment complex catch on fire. Fire engulfed the building in deep red and amber flames. Flames continued to erupt with increasing intensity. One thing I didn't know at the time was that this fire would stay inside me. I also didn't know the powerful meaning of fire in my journey. We think of fire as destructive and deadly, but I learned that fire is passion. Fire is illuminating, all-consuming, and empowering. As time passed, I moved past the trauma of this fire. Little did I know, another fire had been brewing inside of me all these years. The fire of being a teenager. I lived through many challenges, from being bullied to later tearing my ACL abruptly, ending my ability to play soccer, a sport I loved, to getting diagnosed with countless medical issues. I hit a low point and was sent to a wilderness therapy program the early part of my senior year. What timing, right? Before what should have been the best year of high school yet. My journey through mental and physical obstacles taught me how to put out pain, anger, and sadness, one day at a time. I learned that I had to keep moving and pushing forward no matter how hot the flames were versus letting the fire burn, demotivate me, and ruin my entire senior year. This helped me to learn that when you push through adversity, you become ignited, inspired, and stronger. The reason I am sharing this is that so when you face hard times, as we all have, you will remember you are not alone and stronger than you think. We all have that fire inside us that drives, motivates, and empowers us in the face of adversity. Every class, friendship, teacher, obstacle, or even stranger in the hallway has shaped us today. Over these four years, we have acquired the necessary skills, knowledge, and tools to help us on our next journey in navigating the volatile waters ahead. Whether it was a setback, a bad grade, or two, an injury, breakup, or breakdown, Cherry Hill West has given you the tools, including the matches and the snicks, to, igno to ignite your own life fire. Think back four years ago as we listened to our middle school principal send us off to high school. We felt scared of the future because we were unsure of what was ahead. There was always talk about how difficult high school was, whether it was losing friends or having a rigorous workload. Looking back, we did it. As individuals, we let our fire guide us. Thanks to West, we were able to grow, evolve, and thrive through the fire. In our proudest moments, such as the soccer championships, the standing ovations at film productions, award ceremonies, or even rival football games, it was always our West community that supported our passions. West has given us ample resources to support our future. Whether it's teachers who greet us with a warm smile at 7.30 in the morning, or teachers who miss their lunch break to help us understand a topic. Now is the time to take that knowledge, utilize that power, and take charge of our own lives. West lit our flame and fueled our fire, and now it's your turn. Think back to that defining moment and what it sparked within you. Now is the time to embrace that fire within you, ignite your flames, and use that light to guide you. Each of you has a spark waiting to blaze. There is so much ahead of us, class of 2023. That fire is within you, and no one can take that away. Class of 2023, we are on fire, we've got the fire, and we have the fire. Thank you. Today's National Honor Society speech will be delivered by Matthew James Song, president of the Robert E. Hansen chapter of the National Honor Society.
Good afternoon, Dr. Morton, Dr. Malash, members of the Board of Education and the Superintendency, West Administration, parents, families, friends, and of course, the class of 2023. As president of the National Honor Society, I would be remiss if I did not speak of one of the main pillars of the organization, service. When asked to define service, most reply with the phrase, helping others. I, along with many of you, have participated in service activities to help others throughout our high school years. We made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for homeless shelters, hand wrote cards for children in hospitals, and organized fundraisers for the Ronald McDonald House. Although these are fulfilling means in which to help others, service opportunities can also be found in our daily activities. Personally, I found that the most unforgettable acts of service evolve organically through the interactions we may experience while participating in school events, clubs, or sports. Allow me to paint you a picture. After every one of my Cherry Hill West swim meets, the bus ride home was one of the highlights of each competition day. Win or lose, we piled onto the bus and headed to our seats, fully dressed in the theme of the meet, whether it be NBA jerseys, Hawaiian shirts, or blackout attire, lugging our ceramic pig mascot named Porky, our flags, a traffic cone, and of course, our portable DJ, the music speaker. Customarily, Lucas Becker would start the music. Tommy Stankis would wave the team flag. Cooper Legato would lead the cheers, amplified by the cone. And Patrick Rhodes would demonstrate the futsal shuffle for a freshman swimmer willing to bear the torch for the 2024 swim season. Even the most introverted of swimmers joins the makeshift concert, belting out lyrics without any fear of embarrassment. On the surface, these high-spirited, borderline chaotic bus rides home serve the purpose to celebrate a victory or to drown out a tough loss. But to me and my teammates, we saw it as a way to support each other, whether we were memorializing a success or persevering through adversity. What an outsider may not realize about these individuals joyously celebrating is that one just got rejected from his top choice college, while another may have failed the test that afternoon. Perhaps someone broke up with their longtime girlfriend or suffered the devastating loss of a family member. Another swimmer missed qualifying by a fraction of a second while his teammate was celebrating a personal best time. Needless to say, everyone has a story and we have learned to put our personal ones aside and prioritize the team culture. In doing so, we choose to show up for one another and we choose to make sure that every swimmer is made to feel part of the team. The number of points we earned at a meet is not what matters on these bus rides of exhilaration. What matters is the high fives for the swimmers who are up and the pats on the back for the ones who are down. It is the encouragement inspired by friendship and kindness that we give our teammates when they are temporarily anchored by defeat. That is service. These bus rides home allowed us space and time to forget about the narratives in our heads and the stressors in our homes. I contend that this is one of the highest forms of service. Service in that we acted in a way to create memories and experiences for the team as a whole above our own individual needs. However, it was not always easy and not all seasons end in a championship. It is in these difficult times that we are challenged to prioritize serving. After losing in the playoffs this year, we had an hour and a half bus ride looming ahead of us. The ride home provided us with plenty of time to mourn the loss of our season and for some, the end of our swimming careers. We boarded the bus that afternoon much slower and much quieter without the familiar bass emanating from the speaker. But after half an hour, there was a shift. Instead of sulking in our sorrows, we decided to turn our focus to fulfilling what the team needed. We committed to use our final moments as a team to be united. We turned on the speaker, the music began, and momentum slowly started to build. Before long, normalcy was upon us. When the bus pulled into the west parking lot for the last time, we were still upset about the loss, but we held a strong sense of pride in our team for uniting to serve each other at difficult times. 
I am honored to be a part of a class that I know will serve. Some will serve our country in the military. Others will serve at their jobs or on their college campuses. The traditional opportunities to serve will always be there, and I hope you all embrace them. Beyond that, I would encourage you all to act as my swim team did after that final swim meet. Choose to serve those you care about by showing up for them and investing in a common cause. Do this even in the most challenging of circumstances. Spend time reflecting on the negative events that will inevitably occur, but learn from them and quickly turn the music back on and that speaker back up. This type of service will have unparalleled benefits for yourself and for others. No matter where you end up, I hope you all find success, prosperity, and happiness. Above all, I hope you all find your bus ride and that you treasure it as much as I did. Thank you. Now, welcome Carolyn K. Kirk, speaking on behalf of our valedictorians. I am honored to be speaking on, on behalf of the valedictorians. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to some of the highest academic achieving members of our class. If you are a part of the top 1% of this class, please stand and be recognized. We all should be very proud of what we have accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty members, proud parents, and fellow graduates, today we stand at the precipice of a new chapter in our lives. As the valedictorian of this remarkable class, I am humbled and honored to address you all. Looking out at this sea of faces, I see a group of individuals who have overcome countless obstacles, pursued knowledge relentlessly, and achieved greatness. Today, we celebrate not only our academic achievements, but also the strength of character, resilience, and unwavering determination that brought us here. I didn't write what you just heard. Artificial intelligence did. With an unembellished prompt, write a high school valedictorian speech, and the click of a button on my school-issued Chromebook, the software was able to generate an entire speech in seconds. Class of 23, we are lucky enough to be a part of a momentous new era of technology. In just our lifetime, so many remarkable new developments have cemented themselves as a part of our daily lives. Electric vehicles hum down just about every street, and self-driving features are standard in the newest car models. iPhones and smartwatches backed by cloud computing and 5G networks are seemingly everywhere, and new developments in augmented reality have the public entranced. The wave of generative AI advances made during our senior year alone are staggering. AIs are now capable of eerily human actions, whether it's crafting a poem, rendering a piece of art, cloning voice audio, or, as you witnessed today, writing a graduation speech. Companies are now implementing it to create new product designs, optimize business practices, and interpret data. AI is starting to seem like it has limitless applications and potential as a tool for everyone. This should excite you. Our generation's mission has stayed the same as our parents and their parents before them to help better humanity. But the unprecedented opportunities that come with this new technology set us apart from them. We have the capacity to accomplish things generations before us could only dream of. So, whether you are going to be an aerospace engineer, or a cardiologist, or an economist, or a speech pathologist, or even a roller coaster engineer, I implore you to embrace the incredible potential of technology, harnessing it to create lasting change, compelling developments, and most importantly, 
a better world, one that is inclusive and sustainable and driven by the power of innovation. Use technology not as a shield or a distraction from the dirty, ugly parts of the world, but as a facilitator to implement your humanity and compassion across the globe or even just across the street. Because really, despite the surge of new technology, the one thing that AI cannot replace is our humanity. It remains the responsibility of each of you to continue to try and make this world a better place, whether it be through the individual connections with the people in your lives or by tackling broader social or environmental issues. Just as the technology we have access to has grown, so have the problems we must confront. Now, more than ever, light is being shed on the injustices and shortcomings of our world. It is marred by hatred and violence and dirtied by climate change and pollution. I know that we of a class have what it takes to combat those issues, not just because of the vast opportunities the new advancements afford us, but because I have seen firsthand over the past four years what talented, compassionate, incredible individuals each of you are, and it is individual people like you that are catalysts for real, meaningful change. On that note, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my people, the ones that make my world a better place. To my parents, I wouldn't be where I am without you. You never pressured me, only pushed me to do the very best I could because you always believed that that would be more than enough. I recognize I am incredibly privileged to be your daughter, and so, and I don't say this enough, thank you. To Vivian, thank you for being my sister. In two short years, you will be wearing the same cap and gown, confronting the same transition I am now. I implore you to cherish the divide between now and then. I cannot wait to see all that you accomplished in that time and hear about the amazing memories you make. Remember, Rhode Island is only a train right away. You see, it's people that make the difference. I know that many of you were bettered by connections like these two, whether it be your friends, families, teachers, coaches. In any case, after this ceremony, I implore you to thank them too. Let them know the extent of the impact of their connections, the amazing power of their humanity in your life. But before you do that, and as a final emphasis on the extraordinary times in which we are graduating, I will conclude my time at this podium the same way I started it, with the surprisingly insightful words of an AI. I have no doubt that each and every one of us has the potential to achieve greatness. Our high school experience has prepared us for the challenges that lie ahead, and I am confident that we will emerge as leaders, innovators, and change makers. As we say our final goodbyes, let us move forward with gratitude, determination, and an unwavering belief in ourselves. Congratulations, class of 2023. The world awaits our brilliance, our passion, and our boundless potential. Thank you. Will the senior vocalists please join the choir?
Representing the student government organization is Matthew Jacob Bernard. Good afternoon, Dr. Morton, Dr. Malaj, members of the Board of Education and the Superintendency, West Administration, parents, families, friends, and of course, the class of 2023. My name is Matthew Bernard, and it is a distinct honor to be dressing you all today representing the SEO. That's a student government organization and not the Surgeon General Office. Over the past few years, I've had the privilege of working with some of the most passionate and dedicated individuals that I've ever met. From the Red Cross blood drive to promoting mental health and sustainability initiatives, we have strived to make our school community more accessible and safe. But beyond the tangible accomplishments, what has truly made my time with the SEO special is the relationships I built with my fellow members. We come together despite disagreeing on many fundamental issues like coffee versus tea, chocolate versus vanilla, or whenever it's pork roll or taro ham. But through our collaboration, we have learned from one another and have grown as leaders. I gotta say, we've been through a lot together in the past four years, haven't we? From the freshman orientation barbecue, to sitting behind a screen for months on end during COVID, listening to our teachers while watching Netflix, to having toilet paper being worth more than Bitcoin, to this very moment here in the LaCour Center, waiting for Dr. Morton to dismiss the class of 2023 one last time. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm almost done. These four years, we've laughed, we've cried, we've perfected nodding like we're paying attention to our teachers, and we've made some memories that we'll never forget. West Lions, we've become resilient and proud of who we are. It's almost as if we can grow means, get it like Lions, man. But as we leave here West and move on to the next chapter of our lives, I encourage you all to never give up and to continue to find ways to get involved and make a positive impact in your communities. Whatever it's through volunteer work or any form of civic engagement, your efforts can truly make a difference. Even if that just means helping out your mom with groceries or cleaning your room like she's actually to do a million times before. Finally, I want to express my gratitude to our teachers, administrators, and our families who have supported us throughout our high school journey. A special shout out to my mom, dad, my brother Aaron. I could have not achieved what I had without your guidance and encouragement. I love you guys. To my fellow graduates, let's take a moment to celebrate our accomplishments, as your hard work has truly paid off. You made it here, and now all you have to do is just walk across the stage. So you might want to double check that your shoes are tied at least. Best wishes for all your future endeavors, and congratulations class of 2023. We did it. Hey. And just know, if you need me, I'll be in Miami, hang out with Alex Earl and the Cavender Lit Twins. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Awesome. Thank you so much, ma'am. I begin today by expressing my heartfelt gratitude to Ms. Miriam Stern, Board of Education President, and all the members of the Cherry Hill Board of Education. Your unwavering dedication to the children of Cherry Hill is truly inspiring. I'm deeply appreciative of the time and effort you devote to improving their educational experience and outcomes. A special thank you to Dr. Joseph Malash, Superintendent of Schools in Cherry Hill, and the members of the Superintendent's Council for their presence here today. Your tireless efforts do not go unnoticed either, and the High School West community is grateful for your hard work. 
I would also like to give an acknowledgement to Dr. John Burns, the 12th grade house office principal, who assumed his role midway through the year. Your dedication to the students is evident in the relationships you forged with them. Your impact on their journey is immeasurable, and I'm grateful for your contributions. I look forward to seeing all the great things that you will do as the incoming principal of High School West. I also acknowledge the efforts of Ms. Dunning Chin Parker, who also contributed greatly to the class of 2023. She, Ms. Parker, as well as the, the, the rest of the West administration, and I thank you for your contributions overall. To Ms. Jessica Seymour and Ms. Beth Coffey, senior class advisors, and the entire faculty and staff, I extend my sincere thank you for your efforts in assisting the class of 2023 throughout their high school journey. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed, and I appreciate all that you've done to help these students to succeed. To all parents, family members, and friends in attendance, thank you for your support and encouragement for these students along the way. Most importantly, I want to extend my heartfelt greetings and gratitude to the members of the Cherry Hill West Class of 2023 graduating class. Today is truly a day to celebrate all that the class of 2023 has endured and have, they have accomplished. And I'm honored to be here with you to, to share in this special moment. So directly to the class of 2023, I want you guys to know that you are an amazing group of young people. I, can cont I contend that your high school experience has been amongst the most unique of any class to ever graduate from high school West. I'll never forget your freshman year when I was your principal. It was a time when everything seemed normal and routine until it wasn't. And what seemed like a scene out of a science fiction movie, life as we had known it came to a sudden halt. And we all know everything that followed after that. When I returned to West this February of your senior year, I was anxious about the impacts of the challenges that you had experienced and what those challenges had done to you. My fear was that you had experienced so much trauma that you had lost the West way. Yet, what I found was that the pandemic did alter your experience throughout the course of your four years at High School West, but it failed to crush the spirit of the West way. And to quote the great Mark Twain, reports of the demise of the West way have been greatly exaggerated. It's important to understand that when something has been lost, that doesn't mean that the item no longer exists, it just means that the lost item has been misplaced and that it must be found. My goal over these past few months has been to help you find the West Way. My favorite aspect of my job is the opportunity to interact with people, our children and our staff. I've held countless discussions with students and staff and you've shown me that the West Way was in fact never lost. It survived because it thrives in each and every one of you. I've observed students and staff work together and in just a few months plan and execute unifying events that have pulled the entire West community together. Recently, Ms. Roscoff and I worked with the members of the, the Principal's Advisory Council to identify words they felt best encapsulated the meaning of the West Way. The students came up with the following. The West Way. Kindness, diversity, legacy. Succinct, but I found this slogan to be brilliant, and I thought it was a perfect, perfect description of the West Way. At High School West, kindness is not just a word, but it's a way of being and a way of, a way of life. With every step I take through the halls, I'm overwhelmed with the warm greetings and infectious smiles of our students. Handshakes and hellos are the norm for me, and some students even go above and beyond to spread positivity and to make not just myself, but to make everyone feel welcome. I'm grateful to have known someone who can brighten one's day just by being around them. Since his days at Joyce Kilmer Elementary School, Patrick Rhodes has always been that person for me. His smile and contagious energy have left a lasting impression in my mind. 
In fact, I can remember back to 2013, my last year at Kilmer, I would frequently walk the hallways of the school. And as I walked by classroom 109, I think it was in 2-109 at the time, I can picture Patrick's face, excitedly waving every time I walked by the room. I'll never forget that grin. Now as a member of the class of 2023, Patrick has become a beloved figure, known for his kind heart and positive attitude as he spreads joy and positivity with ease and has truly become a beacon of kindness. I'm so fortunate to have known my buddy Patty for all these years. Matthew Bernard, who you just heard, is also a remarkable young man who holds a special place in my heart. His cordial, polite, and friendly demeanor have endeared him to both students and staff alike throughout the entire building. Every conversation I have with Matt leaves me feeling more positive and in a better mood. Don't you feel better after having just listened to Matt speak? His ability to connect with anyone and everyone is simply astounding. Matt, you are a shining example of a positive influence on the environment here at West. Your kindness does not go unnoticed, and I want to take this opportunity to recognize and appreciate you for your wonderful personality. Keep being the incredible connector that you are. Perhaps one of the most dynamic aspects of the High School West community and Cherry Hill community uh, in that matter lies in the diversity that's present within our community. We recognize that our students possess unique interests and characteristics. At High School West, we view diversity as a great thing. Our students differ by race, ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, gender identification, ability, lab ability level, you name it, we claim it, and we, and we maintain the fundamental belief that the terms diversity and inclusion must be linked as a pair. Diversity and inclusion are an inseparable pair that must always be linked, and it's important to understand that diversity without, without inclusion is like Tom without Jerry, or like Mario without Luigi, or Bert without Ernie. A Woody without Buzz Lightyear, or for some folks who are in my, my age range, or Abbott without Costello. Some, peer, some parents are just meant to be together. And while diversity refers to the differences we bring, inclusion refers to the manner in which we ensure that all differences are respected, are appreciated, and valued. And this is what the West Way is all about. I'm incredibly grateful to have known Raven Collins, a remarkable student who shares many of my own qualities. Despite her reserved and unassuming nature, Raven exudes brightness, eloquence, and remarkable confidence. She knows exactly who she is and where she wants to go in life, and she embodies diversity and all that is fantastic about High School West. Words cannot express how fortunate I am to have served as your principal and I've had a relationship with you, Raven. I'm sure that you'll do fantastic in life. Rarely have I been as proud to watch the growth, maturity, work, and work ethic of a student as I have had in watching Jalissa Rodriguez develop over the years. I first met Jalissa and her twin brother Ulysses when they were just seven years old as second grade students. J Jalissa was one of the kindest and most affectionate students that I had at Joyce Kilmer. Literally every day at recess, every day, she would run up to me, give me the biggest hug as she smiled and laughed and asked various questions. She was a very tactile child back then and she would usually always ensure that somehow or another my tie was pulled out of place after I had an opportunity to interact with her. In fact, there's a classic photo that was published in the Philadelphia Inquirer back in 2013 when I was transitioning from Kilmer as the incoming principal at West. And in the photo, there's Julissa hugging, giving me one of her big hugs with her hand fully grasped on my tie. I had become so accustomed to it that I really didn't even notice that she had, she was doing, that she had done that. Well, since that time, I've watched Alyssa go from a student who worked with one of, our, one of our basic skills teachers to an exceptionally strong and fiercely determined young lady. She's a state qualifying standout member of our track and field team. She's a leader in our Air Force Junior ROTC program. She's earned a seal of biliteracy 
and she'll finish her high school career as one of the valedictorians who stood up shortly, shortly a while ago. Both she and her twin brother Ulysses have made me so happy and I'm so proud to have had the opportunity to know them and interact with them. And by the way, at last week's student clap out, I had an opportunity to go over to Joyce Kilmer and we took a picture together. And of course, she grabbed my tie in the picture. <laughs> when I think of the combination of kindness, diversity, and legacy, Lizbeth Reyes and the Reyes family come to mind. I'm filled with positive thoughts when I think back to the beginning of the 2019 school year when I first met Lizbeth. Her brother Eric had just graduated from West and was off to Harvard University. From the moment I, let, I met Lizbeth, her genuine friendliness and warmth were palpable. I remember telling her she had big shoes to fill, and I'm thrilled to report that I, not only did she fill the big shoes, she created a couple pair of her own. What's more, Lizbeth has blossomed into an outstanding human being who works tirelessly, is highly engaged, and has a profound concern for others. Lizbeth is also one of the class of 2023's valedictorians, and she was accepted to nearly every college that she applied for, eventually settling on Princeton University next year. The Reyes' family's story is a remarkable story. Mr. and Mrs. Reyes immigrated to this country many years ago with the dreams of creating a better life for their families. In the time since, they become successful small business owners and have shared their two beautiful children with us. The Reyes story, I mention it because it's indicative of why it's so important for us to value diversity and inclusion here in Cherry Hill and here at High School West. As I prepare to close, it's only appropriate that I take the time to recognize a member of the High School West community who has embodied the West way and how he has lived his life. And that person is Dr. Joseph Malash. As many of you know and are aware, he'll be retiring as superintendent of schools in just a few short weeks. Dr. Malash has held many roles here in Cherry Hill, and he's been intimately connected to the West community for almost 40 years now. He's been a consistent source of inspiration for all of us throughout his entire journey in Cherry Hill. He was a student and a graduate of High School West in 1989. After graduating from college, he eventually returned back to Cherry Hill he worked as a principal at Kingston Elementary, Carusi Middle, and at High School West. He also served as the district's director of curriculum, assistant superintendent, and of course, as our superintendent of schools. Undoubtedly, he's positively impacted countless lives along the way, and he can count many achievements to his credit. However, what I remember most about him is what I consider to be his most prominent achievement which is his role as father to four beautiful young women, all proud High School West graduates. Dr. Malash, on behalf of the High School West community, I want you to know that we appreciate you, we love you, and we thank you for your invaluable contribution. Let's give it up for Dr. Malash one more time. In closing, Class of 2023, I encourage you to reflect upon your personal journey thus far and to envision yourself into the future and thinking about how you will carry the West way forward with you. Please know that you will forever be a member of the West community and you'll forever always have a special place in, within my heart. We're proud of you. We're rooting for you. Dream big dreams and go out and make us proud. Best wishes to you all. At this time, Cherry Hill West salutes the patriotism and commitment of the members of the class of 2023 who will volunteer to serve their country as members of the military. I ask these young men and women to stand as I call their names. Alexander Robert Cassiano, the United States Marine Corps. Elijah Emil Alexander Lowy, the United States Marine Corps. J. 
Jacob Claudio Rodriguez, the United States Marine Corps Reserves. Kyle Ott, the United States Air Force. Kevin Ramirez Alonzo, the United States Marine Corps. We thank you in advance for your service. Our sincerest thank yous to you all. <laughs> Members of the class of 2023 have distinguished themselves in academics, technology, the arts, music, journalism, athletics, and service to their school and community. They brought honor to themselves, to their families, to West, and to the Cherry Hill community. Because the awards of the class members are too numerous to announce, we've published all of them in the commencement program, and I encourage our guests to read the varied accomplishments of our graduates. I'll now ask all the graduates who have received awards listed in the program to please rise, face your families, and be recognized by us all. Thank you. Congratulations, congratulations to you all. <laughs> the class closure, this morning's final student presentation, will be offered by Lizbeth Reyes. Lizbeth. Good evening, Dr. Morton, Dr. Malash, members of the Board of Education, the superintendency, West administration, teachers, parents, friends, and of course, the great class of 2023. As I stand before you, I look into a class that has inspired me in every way. A class filled with dedicated athletes, exceptional students, and caring friends. Hi, my name is Liz Reyes, and it is both an honor and a privilege to be here with you today. However, I cannot continue this speech without recognizing the people who helped me get here, to my mother who showed me endless love and what a strong woman can do, to my father who not only woke me up every morning but supported me in everything that I did, and to my brother, my role model and my best friend. Mi familia es mi fuerza y no podía estar aquí sin ellos. Four years ago, I made the decision to attend Cherry Hill West. I was terrified. I was scared of getting lost, intimidated by the thought of eating in the cafeteria. Afraid of what was to come, I hid. I hid in my schoolwork and I hid at practice. As a freshman, I was afraid of my life changing. Today, I cannot be more grateful that it did. At West, it was impossible to hide. I began to meet teachers who turned into mentors, faculty that turned into counselors, and friends that turned into family. I could not keep my head down. Wes gave me a community, one that supported each other tirelessly. A community of students who drove all the way to North Jersey to watch the boys soccer group three state final. One that sat in the pouring rain to watch us beat East at the homecoming game. A community that was able to come back together after a year of online learning, encouraged and excited. It was the support that Wes gave us that allowed us to pursue our successes. However, the most important part of this community is not just its strength, but its diversity. High school is a time when we're all trying to figure out who we are and where we fit in. We're constantly bombarded with images and messages about who we should be, what we should look like, and what we should aspire to. But the truth is, there is no one size fits all when it comes to our identities. Each person has their own story. Stories of triumph, 
loss, humility, and happiness. Memories of laughter and of sadness. Moments of gratuity and awkwardness. These experiences shape each person as they learn from them. And then you learn from their stories. In a full circle moment, we are influenced by the people around us and their lives, just like we influence them. We learn from them lessons we will carry for the rest of my life. As my teacher, Ms. Roscoff, once said, we all like to think we did it alone, but we all had an impact on each other, directly or indirectly. Each individual has their own unique perspective, and that is something that can never be taken for granted. So today, I urge you to turn to your left and say thank you to the person next to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we are all uniquely different, and that's something to be celebrated. It's important to embrace our individualism, to be proud of our quirks and our flaws, and to recognize that our differences are what make us interesting and dynamic. When we celebrate our individualism, we create a culture of acceptance and inclusivity. We learn to appreciate and respect the differences in others, and we challenge ourselves to be more open-minded and empathetic. So as you move on from high school and into the next phase of your life, I encourage you to hold on to your individualism. Don't be afraid to be yourself, because to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something that you are not is the greatest accomplishment you can achieve. Celebrate your unique qualities and your talents and use them to make a positive impact on the world around you. Many of you have given me the privilege to see an authentic side of who you are. It is the individualism of this class that sets us apart. It is because of you that we are able to win the South Jersey Group 3 Boys and Girls Soccer Sectional Championships. Because of you, we were able to place in the New Jersey State Jazz Competition. It was you that led us to hold the first Multicultural Day at West. This class thrives by pursuing their own passions. It is the students in this class who care about each other, who value their experiences, and who help each other every day that make West different. We have come together and accomplished so much already, and I know we will continue to do so. For the past four years, we have learned from, shaped, and inspired one another. This is a class filled with 330 strong and powerful individuals who each have their own story. My only hope is that past the halls of West, each one of you will continue to stay true to yourselves be your own person, honor your values, and take pride in who you are and where you come from. Thank you, Cherry Hole West, for taking me out of hiding, and congratulations to the class of 2023. You are a community of students I will never forget, and I could not be more proud to be a part of you. Thank you. Dr. Joseph Milosh, superintendent of, superintendent of Schools, will now address the class of 2023 and then present them to the Board of Education. Dr. Milosh. Thank you, Dr. Morton. Ms. Stern and members of the Board of Education, Dr. Morton, Dr. Burns, and members of the Cherry Hill High School West administration, the incredible faculty and staff, parents, family members and friends, and finally, to all of you in the purple and white, the High School West graduating class of 2023. As the superintendent of schools for the Cherry Hill Public School District and a very proud High School West alum, I am blessed and honored to stand before you to address the class on behalf of the district staff and the entire community of Cherry Hill. As a community, we honor and celebrate 
the individual success of each student, for you are truly individuals who have successfully demonstrated that you have the fortitude and the determination to be successful, to accept challenges head on, and to move beyond mistakes and missteps. I honestly love seeing the faces of the members of your class, the soon-to-be graduates of High School West. Yours are the faces of athletes and musicians, thespians and journalists, artists and advocates, faces that represent the beautiful diversity of our community, the diversity that creates a unique tapestry of cultural experiences and backgrounds, religions and races that are woven together that make this class your class unlike any other that has ever traveled the hallways of High School West. This afternoon, as I look out and see your class, I know that the path to today's high school graduation has not always been an easy one or a direct one, and one that so many of you in your cap and gown, a path and a journey that you have refused to allow circumstances that are outside of you and beyond your control to define you. Rather, you have chosen to seize the, seize the moments of opportunity and to move ahead, to constantly go forward. You are our future, and we have grand expectations and a significant need for your class, for your generation, to do better than we have done. The world has changed dramatically since September 3rd of 2019, when you first entered the hallways of High School West as freshmen. There has been tragedy and there has been triumph, and there are those who have begun to take notice of the importance of the perspective and the voice of you as high school students. During your experiences at High School West, there has been joy and frustration as you have begun to truly figure out who you are and what your place is in the world. You have relationships that have been established and some that have ended. You have made new connections and you have seen stars as they have arisen in competition on the courts and playing fields, in the pools and in the gyms. You have filled the auditorium with incredibly beautiful music. During concerts, you have inspired performances. During plays and musicals, you have served your community, our community, as volunteers, as peer leaders, as mentors, as computer engineers, and as orators, reporters, and editors, and activists. And you have given of yourself to the larger community of Cherry Hill and South Jersey, demonstrating that you understand and embrace the idea that as individuals and as a community, we are truly responsible for one another. You have set goals and at times you have failed to meet expectation, but again, you have moved forward. Athletes and scholars who are committed and driven with the hearts of lions. Young adults who are proud and strong and who have demonstrated the power that love and support have in education and in our world and how much truly we need both of those today. The community of Cherry Hill owes you our thanks and our admiration for the foundation and the new expectations that you have established for future generations of High School West students. Honestly, it's not easy being a parent to a high school student. I can tell you from my own firsthand experience, but being a parent brings about more joy than anything else in our world. Thankfully, parenting is not something that any of us does on our own. So many families who are here today have given of themselves without thanks and without recognition and without the need for either to fulfill the needs of your class. Please continue to develop your voices, to share them with the world. Remember that one of the most important parts of effectively sharing your voice and your identity lies in your ability to listen and to remember. On this Juneteenth, and on each day forward, continue to work on being a good listener, on being an active listener, to learn what you hear and learn from what you see. Know that life is not something that is done to you. Be a leader in your chosen path and be kind. Kindness matters. Use your words, your voice, and your abilities for good. And always remember that as you move forward, beyond high school, that you represent us. You represent your families, you represent High School West and the Cherry Hill community. 
Please remember all that your families have done and all that they have sacrificed for you to be seated here in this space today. Please represent us with pride and with honor and with dignity. Represent us as you travel out onto college and into the trades, onto work and to the military. And honestly, a special thank you to all of you who have signed up to join the military. Thank you for choosing to serve. Thank you for being a part of the 1% of our country that has chosen that path. And for those of you who are going into the trades, my honest thanks to you. We as a community, as an educational system, do not spend enough time recognizing what you are about to do or the incredible need for you to go into the trades and for the service that you will provide our country and our community. So thank you to each one of you. On behalf of all the adults who are here today, I want to thank all of you as students for what you have continued to teach me and your families, your teachers, that every day that we have learned from you that we are blessed with the greatest of responsibilities and the most incredible jobs that anyone could have. I'm very excited to see your smiling faces as you cross the stage and receive your diplomas. And honestly, I'm even more excited to hear about the next steps that you take as you move out into the world. Ms. Stern, could you join me at the podium? Ms. Stern, as the superintendent of the Cherry Hill Public Schools, I present to you the Cherry Hill High School West Class of 2023, and I can assure you that they have fulfilled all the requirements necessary to certify them for graduation. You are so close. We're almost there. On behalf of the Cherry Hill Board of Education, I accept the Cherry Hill High School West Class of 2023 and authorize its commencement. Yes, it's official. Good afternoon, West graduates, parents and guardians, families and friends, administrators, teachers, and staff. On behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations, you did it. The sophomore year of your high school experience was like no other in the history of Cherry Hill, a mostly virtual school year. It was strange and one-dimensional. You met your classmates and teachers online, sometimes lying in bed in your pajamas. You figured out how to play sports in a mask, play an instrument with a band over Google Classroom, do a biology lab from home, chemistry, and try to pay attention in your history class while scrolling through Insta or playing video games. All of the normal things you expected as high, school sco as high schoolers were turned upside down making friends and finding new friend groups, choosing your classes, homework, yes, homework, and joining clubs. It was hard and at times scary, and for many of you, it was isolating. Learning was different and often not easy. Lots and lots of time on screens became the norm for school and was the way to connect to the rest of the world outside of school. For many of you, that was a pretty unsatisfying way to spend most hours of your day, day after day. Three years later, you are now finishing your high school experience with most activities coming back to normal and in person. You figured out how to make that transition back to the way life used to be and should be. You know that being in person and feeling connected to others are fundamental needs. While YouTubers and TikTokers can make us laugh, teach us how to dance, or life hacks like cooking, how to change a tire, or how to calm anxiety, 
We know life behind the screen is just not the same as in real life. Now it's time for you to start your real young adult lives. Some of you will enlist in the military. Others will begin working or starting college or career and technical training. Maybe you're not sure what your next step will be. You are probably nervous, apprehensive, excited, and eager all at the same time. All of that is right on point, and you will all rise to the occasion with your newfound resiliency and skills. Whatever path you take, you got this. Just like on YouTube and TikTok, in real life, we get likes. We have influencers and followers. They come from the people around you who know you and from experiences you have every day. Take a minute and think about those influencers in your life. Take in what is around you and consider what's worth listening to and learning from and what to toss away. That is how you develop your instincts. Follow them. As you log off from your high school experience and log in to your next adventure, learn to trust your gut. It will steer you in the right direction. So whether you will be living at home or going away, things will be different. The freedoms and choices of adulting can be liberating and daunting. There will be highs and lows. Wherever you go next, find resources, self-advocate, lean into new friends and old ones, and reach out to supportive parents, caregivers, and family. As you are becoming more independent, those people who have shown up for you and helped you get to this point will still be there to advise and support you. So take a minute and look into the audience. Find your people. Find those adults, those individuals who had your back and will continue to as you move on to your next steps. That's right, give them a smile, a wave, or a cheer. Your achievement today is as exciting for them as it is for you, or maybe even more so. They are your biggest fans forever. You, the class of 2023, have so much to look forward to, and everyone is so excited to see what comes next, what comes next in your real lives. Members of the Board of Education, please join me on stage as we will shortly distribute the diplomas to the class of 2023 of High School West. Matthew Jacob Bernard. Matthew James Son. Sarah Jenna Cole. Julia Lynn Green. Carolyn K. Kirk. Olivia Anna Mazzara. Lisbeth M. Reyes. Julissa Rodriguez. Micah Cassandra Adun. Ian Faith Aldana. Grace Ireland Allen. Yana Al Rabat. Catherine Teresa Amoriello. Naya Shea Anderson. Crystal Pagliero Antonio. 
Maisie Estelle Baker. Naomi Bautista. Sahara Star Bay. Nina Simone Biedebach. Paola Michelle Bonilla Mendez. Anika Speranza Brody. Galit Dina Brody. Valentina Fernanda Caldera. Natalia Arielise Calderon. Jody Perel Camba. Teresa Costello Camba. Amelia Sofia Canzano. Cynthia May Chang. Eileen Chen. Francesca Marcelino Coleman. Michaela Alyssa Collins. Raven J. Collins. Isabella Marie Cordero. Ganath Abigail Cruz Hernandez. Caitlin Quinn Cunningham. Lydia Giovanna Da Silva Diaz. Mackenzie Lynn Da Silvio. Rivka Miki Back. Saeed Mahmoud Abu Awade. Jacob Daniel Carlson. Roland Mawuli Kofi Adiasi. Arman Ahmed Wakas. Ryan Allen Alabanzas. Brandon Robert Ambrose. Andy Ame, Thomas Joseph Arcaroli, Alexander Robert Cassiano, Idan Atia, Armando Jeremias Ibar, Kyle Ashton Azar. Ryan Michael Carlin. Lucas James Becker. Nicholas Joseph Berkman. Gregory Allen Boggins III. Ethan, Ethan Thomas Bovel. Joshua Dylan Bradley. Brendan Ray Calabayan. Jose Quintero. Anthony Joseph Lee Diaria. Amit, Amit Cohen. Jaden Stephen Cologne. Alicia Michelle Cooper Edward. Mason Aaron Dempsey. Christian Noel Cortez. Colin James Costello. Maurice Aaron Cotton. Lenny Sophia Diamato. Adam Mary De Jesus Martinez. Anna Marie Denicio. Arietta Debrova. Arlinda Dabrova. Ellie Ann Doman. Ashley Renee Angelson. 
Nayeli Feliciano. Natalie Ruth Fournier. Ava Camille Friedel. Ava Nicole Ferguelli. Samantha Mary Ginhart. Taylor Madison Kahn. Marielle Joanna Gonzalez Lorenzo. Adriana Kimberly Grant. Mia Faye Griffith. Nora Mary Gorecki. Mia Ray Heron. Ava Rose Hawk. Maggie Key. Emma Rose Healy. Bryn Evine Higgins. Alexandria Ray Hook. Sahara Destiny Howard. Deja Marie Hyatt. Haley Ivory. Joanne Jang. Samantha Jane Johns. Tamia Lanira Johnson. Janexi Azalena Angelique Gonzalez. Irene Katsidakis. Jacob Henry Dorr. F.A. Sanan Dennis Curdu. Christian Joseph DiBattista. Jason Hugh Doe. Brizart Dobrova. Owen River Dodd. Edmund Lewis Drayton. Gabrielle Marie Evans. Christopher George Everts. Aiden Lee Fallon Lewis. Joseph Michael Foshnot. Lennox Leo Fernandez. Ariel Melody Florent. Stephen Edward Edwin Stein. Benjamin Mark Scarino. Devin Anthony Garns. Brandon Jackson Genzer. Austin David Givens. Joseph Osborne Goldberg. Nye Liani Gomez. Peter Anthony Grafeo. Nicholas J. Grocott. Joshua Guzman. David Ethan Hammer. Connor Joseph Hawley. Paul Thomas Heiss. Jonathan Joel Hernandez Almorin. Joshua Daniel Hernandez. Michelle Amadam Hindi. Brandon V. Huang. Emily Hannah Cratchman. Casey Lynn Krause. Jillian Tia Labletta. Elizabeth Ann Lang. Miana Michelle Lee. Nyana 
Chanel Lewis. Alexa Danielle Lipford. Emily Grace Locke. Sophia Kathleen Laffler. Lauren J. Lohman. Skyla Ariana Lopez. Juliana Lugo. Peyton Alexandra, Alexandria Tomasello. Makia Mana. Jillian Rose Marinelli. Avery Margaret Suzanne Mayer. Elena Lynn McCullum. Haley Rose McCullough. Riley Evelyn McGlynn. Marissa Amber McGrath. Kiara Marie McMillan. Michaela Adonica McPherson. Haley Grace Milligan. Ashley Morales Sandoval. Jade Giselle Mosley. Nancy Dom Nguyen. Olivia Nguyen. Hannah Love Norton. Ava Estralita Palmer. Cher Ami Panis. Bailey Ray Hood. Anthony Angelo Horiatis. James Davidson Hutchinson. Nathaniel Richard Staley. Alexander Gregory Johnson. Chase Steven Johnson. Emery Malcolm Johnson. Daniel Luke Kelly. Kyle Matthew Kern. Jaden Quinn Kerr. Ethan James Knorr. Isaac Kolodomik. Jan Kapachowski. Ryan Joseph Lafferty. Evan Christopher Landis. Thomas Mark Laskowski. Stephen Hanny Lawandi. Cooper Valentine Legato. Virgil Owen Lloyd. Samuel Leonard Lewowski. Elijah Emil Alexander Lowy. Calvin Luong Jr. Adavid Jayend Mahidran. Matthew Jacob Maldonado. Atlee James Marshall. James Daniel Martin. Ashton Martorelli, Anthony Joseph Matazzo, William Alexander Marone, Brendan Chase McCarger, Genesis Marie Pena. Jocelyn Cecilia Perez. Natalie Annette Perez. Cassidy Helene Phillips. Carolyn May Pinho. 
Christina Isabella Pinho. Jinx Elisa Martinez. Megan Olivia Pitt. Autumn Leslie Ann Popin. Hannah Jane Porowski. Tay Nicole Powell. Emma Jessiel Ramirez. Dana Sophia Ramirez Romero. Natalie Rose Rappaport. Sherlyn Regino Bautista. Mackenzie Autumn Ryers. Kaishalise Noelle Ripoll Bonilla. Lourdes Michelle Rivas Crespo. Kayla Unique, Kyla Unique Rivera. Amaya Kenya Robinson. Jocelyn Andrea Rojas. Ashley Scafudo Sather. Deanna Isabel Sanchez. Lily Ann Sanders. Gail Rochelle Santos. Jalen Santos. Jillian Rachel Saperstein. Alexa Noel Savage. Trinity Claire Schaefer. Bianca Lynn Schooneman. Daniel Michael McCullough. Oliver Stout McKittrick. Aiden George McMillan. John Ryan McNulty. Daniel Medina Tenorio. Brandon Antonio Mendez. Jordan Anthony Mendoza. Fernando Mendoza Paliero. Gail Edwin Morales. Eric Morales Bautista. Jordan Thomas Morales Mateo. Jaden Gabriel Moran Caprati. Elijah Jeremiah Moraza. Aaron and Jordan Morrison. Emmanuel Isaiah Morrison. Willow Munez. Dylan Alexander Murphy. Robert Nathan Neff. Julius Jeremiah Nunez. Jared Noah O'Neill. Vince Benedict Vidalian Ordonez. Thomas Ortiz. Isaac David Oviedo. Ayush Dinesh Patel. Nicholas Alexander Pelzarski. Brian Pino Tito. Mason William Eagle Prodzik. Danielle Sebastian Quintana. Ronan B. 
Ragodo. Chrisanne Tati. Jillian Grace Shapiro. Grace Danielle Scott. Emily Rose Shaw. Hannah Nicole Slim. Madeline Sarah Solomons. Maggie J. Staple. Alina June Stewart. Ni Lan Ta. Bella May Takachi. Crystal Elaine Scott. Sarah Leticia Tomas Santizo. Tiffany Truong. Karina Noel Valentino. Isabel Sandra Valentino. Mia Noel Watson. Christina Noel Wiest. Mina Hadal Wilkins. Angelina Elizabeth Williams. Kayla Denise Williams. <laughs> Brianna Lynn Wright. Alma Kanadu Yabwa. Mia Nitsana Zaris. Anna Craig Ziegler. Nathan Charles Rainier. Kevin Ramirez Alonso. Saeed Bayat. Patrick Allen Rhodes. Darby Joseph Rice. Max David Ryder. Hugo Alejandro Rivas Contreras. Richard Anthony Robertson, Jr. Jacob Claudio Rodriguez. Ulysses Rodriguez, Jr. Kevin Robert Rourke, Jr. Patrick Jacob Ross. Gary Lloyd Rowe, Jr. Nathaniel August Royer. Axel Sachs. Luisalo Salazar Sandoval. Christopher Isaiah Santiago. John Michael Santola. Justin Allen Saperstein. Maxwell Gray Satterfield. Daniel DeRay Shexnader. Ryan Charles Schimpf. Peter Anthony Schultz Jr. Richard Forrest Schultz. Benjamin Jack Sekuler. John Edward Apollo Tanganon Senar. Cameron James Smitherman. Roger Elias Solis Hernandez. Sebastian jo Jose Soto. Thomas Jeremiah Stankus. Lynn Maldonado. 
Elijah Danielle Williams. Owen Patrick String. Dylan Max Tears. Tori Telshaw. Michael Ryan Tepper. Nicholas Jude Teresco. Colin Joseph Tomaszewski. Maxwell Todd Tomlinson. Julian Alexander Torres. Diego Torres. Stephen Carl Winberry. Giovanni Michael Veronese. Jeremiah Isaiah Elijah Wade. Chase Joseph Waterman. Andrew Bud Weiser. <laughs> Colton Ziegler Weiss. Matthew Joseph West. Michael Christopher West. Gabriel Brian Wiggins. Yazid Yasir Ishmael. Aiden Connor Garber. Congratulating the class of 2023 on the successful completion of their high school experience. The class may now turn their tassels to the left side, signifying their graduate status. join the class of 2023 for the alma mater. Dismissed. <laughs>